They're getting it done, that's for sure. It has been uh, okay. Oh my goodness. Midwest Drags is brought to you by Summit Racing. Day two is at Atco, New Jersey, Atco Raceway. already back up here you see uh, Jim Greenleaf out there the big man for Summit behind his partners car Tommy Dupree right inside up here in his Corvette, the oil field worker out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Daniel Doyle, and the four eyed Fox body right hand side, Spanning the ship and Fox body. Is everything in line for her on that head? Danielle actually lost the brakes yesterday. They got that thing fixed uh, this morning and was able to make it here. Stick ship entry has left hand side in the Camaro. Like I said, guys, I apologize, you don't have your names, but uh, we're gonna do the best we can today. Last year, he ran with his dad, competed with us. This year, his mom decided to compete with him. His mom, Tina, down there, the MSU, that's Michigan State University grad. He's third generation Michigan State University student. You gotta love to see that. I mean, I told him, you got some awesome parents that are going to support you with this drag and drive addiction. And that's right, it truly is addiction. These guys are nuts, man. They made, like I said, a five hour drive yesterday, I believe, a little over 270 miles. Stevens looking. For a Taking hit that car to every big butt bracket race I can find up in Michigan. All 
in that same class as Stevens, a street machine eliminator class. Franks pulls the hood off of it, trying to save a little bit of weight. You got to figure, you know, a car that caliber, you know, every hundred pounds or so is, is going to be about a 10. So he pulls the hood off the hood, probably weighs near 50 pounds. So let's see if he can pick up that 5,000 on the right hand side. Franks currently setting number three in the street machine eliminator class in the 12 category. He's looking for that 12 also. Him and his dad making a journey here with us at some racing pit was Drags East Coast Invasion. And Frank goes a little too fast. He goes 1196 with an 8 at 109. I'm proud of He's probably going to put the hood back on. See his buddy down there with the camera trying to get some data. They're trying to get some suspension data on the car. Like I said, they've been having some trouble. Let's see if they made any adjustments overnight to get this car figured out. Should go down in the 860, 870 range. He's got the power to do it. Maybe. second capable car.
let's say they're, they're driving together, they're running a pack. That's Brandon Cirillo, right hand lane, the 400 10 cubic inch LS motor there. Big F1 A94 Pruitt Charger on board the 49 Fox body. Right off the trailer, he comes out and runs an 854, I believe, Monday during the test and tune portion, the Moser Monday test and tune. Yeah, so Cirillo, right now Cirillo is set number four in the class with an 8.59 average. He made four passes yesterday. He made two passes of 8.42 yesterday. So his last pass, he got out at about uh, 11, the 1100 foot mark. And listen to the first. It's a uh, street race small block power out of wrecking. They are the pound for pound kings of street race small block power out of racing. Yeah, that's 
grand fees right now. All the time. Dragging up on Thunder South East Street. These guys have done it all. Right here. Oh yeah, I mean he's sitting right now at seven, seven, seven average. I mean, he's got a little ways to go to clutch Glenn Hunter, but I tell you what, Glenn, he's only made one good pass today, and that's a thing to turn here, you know. Grant Hayes could be. Definitely a Dragon Drive family. That that whole group of people do. 
this week, I guarantee you. Uh, I would. Eight millimeter turbo charger over the four door LTD. And he's been consistent, just like Brian Acton has. He's chipping away at it. Right off the trailer Monday, he goes in 852. Frankenstein engine dynamics, 10 cylinder heads on the car, F1 A94 Pro Charger. You see the last pass, he said that there was an exit in the car, so he had to get out of it. He was on a good pass, had a good 132 short time. Everything was looking promising. But unfortunately, the hood almost came out. You see Cirillo's crew guy out there going to try to put him down in the tracks. You see his wife out there. What's that called? Slick picks or slick something? Slick picks? Yep. Slick picks. Turbocharged Camaro right inside. They're chasing that eight-second pass. He went nine holes on his last hit. And let's see what these guys are So Cirillo knocked about two mile an hour off. The car usually likes a mile an hour around 162 mile an hour. So check back tomorrow. We'll be at Cecil County, Maryland, and I'll be going live throughout the day. Did you enjoy this video? Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell because it's free. And then you get to see some awesome videos and get to see some interview with some amazing people. I also post videos of some action-packed racing. Make sure that you follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Conan Cars. And I also have shirts and decals for sale. And we'll see you next time. Thank you to our sponsors.